Tonight, we're learning the co-pilot, Charles Crooks, was in control when the plane dropped and suffered a landing gear mishap in Rayford just minutes before the emergency landing at RDU. That information came from a preliminary NTSB report just released. WRL's Julian Grace is live at the airport. And Julian, that same report said Crooks was visibly upset before jumping out of the plane. Joe, that is correct. Crooks was visibly upset after having a rough landing near a Rayford airstrip. We're told that the plane dropped and part of the plane hit that airstrip. That's when the commanding pilot took control. 911, what's that? Said emergency. This 911 call gives details of a flight in distress. The co pilot jumped out. The co pilot jumped out? Yes. And this preliminary NTSB report details what happened next. The trouble starts on July 29th when Charles Crooks was at the helm during a rough landing at a Rayford airstrip. The report says the plane descended below the tree line and dropped. Crooks then attempted to maneuver it, but he couldn't stop the sink rate, and the right main landing gear hit the surface of the runway. That's when the commanding pilot took over, and the report says Crooks was visibly upset. The report also says after the mishap, Crooks got up from his seat, removed his headset, apologized, and departed the airplane via the ramp door. I was uh, shocked and I um, didn't believe it. I, I, the, the original report said that he jumped. Meaning what? I mean, there's two, two things. Either he jumped or he fell. That's Loho Bell Husell, who spent a total of about eight hours flying with crooks on different occasions. The report says the commanding pilot later landed the plane at RDU. Hours later, people discovered Crook's body in Fuquay, Verena. We now have a 911 tape, a witness account of what happened, and a preliminary NTSB report. But how was Crook's demeanor in the air on previous flights? Bella Hussell shared his thoughts. He was, a, you know, a, a very professional, very knowledgeable, cool, uh, nice, sympathetic. I mean, you look at the guy, uh, I, but again... I, I, I never saw him in a situation of stress. People handle stress differently. The commanding pilot's name was redacted from that preliminary report. Jared, we are trying to find out why. We also want to let you know we did reach out to the Crooks family. We have not heard back from them this evening. Julian Grace live at RDU. Thank you, Julian.